So Charles Schwab walks into his manager's office <clears throat> and asks his manager, hey, how come you're one of the best managers I have? You're not able to get your guys to produce more. So the manager replies, hey, I've yelled at them, I've screamed at them, I've threatened them that I'll fire them, but these guys just won't produce more. I don't know what else I can do. So Charles Schwab looks at the team and asks, hey, how many heats did you guys do today in your shift? And they said six, and he takes the chalk piece and then draws a big six on the floor and then leaves. Right, so the shift is over. The next shift, uh, guys showed up and they're like, hey, what is this six? So these guys say, hey, you know, there was this big boss that was here and he asked us how many heats we did and he said six and he drew the big six. Hmm. The second shift guys looked at the six and said, huh, we can do better than that. And then the next morning when they left, there was six was erased and there was a seven in that place. And the following shift, <clears throat> the guys from the following shift showed up and they looked at it seven. Hmm. We can do better than seven. And they did 10. So this plan started picking up, you know, the productivity in an amazing manner. And Charles Schwab, the steel executive, in his own words says, hey, the way to get things done is, you know, by creating that friendly competition between the team, not in a money getting way or, you know, only for a monetary incentive or materialistic gain, but in a way to appreciate the excellence in the craft. So that's exactly what gamification is all about. Right? Creating that friendly competition between the operators that are you know, very good in what they do and appreciating that excellence. And, and showing a leaderboard, like in a car race, there is a leaderboard that shows you know, rank one, rank two, first place, second place, third place, something like that. So they give them you no know, real-time feedback. So that's the second aspect of gamification. Give them real-time feedback as to how well they're doing. You know, there are plenty of uh, labor management systems today Unfortunately, the data is available only the next day. So I don't know my EPP, right, employee performance percentage. I don't know that until the next day. So if it's 97% or 90%, I have no way to go back and fix it. Whereas with gamification, we can provide real-time feedback to the employee. For example, if it's, you know, the target is 400 units per hour in terms of picking, we can show them, hey, you're doing 380 or you're doing 420. So that gives them the opportunity to fix it, speed up, slow down, whatever they need to do to accomplish that goal for that day. And also the supervisors can, you know, for sure accomplish that goal. And they have a realistic sense for, hey, my guys can do this, my guys cannot do this. So with Smart Gladiator mobile technology, you know, we can provide that real-time feedback to operators and we can uh, improve your productivity at least by 33%.